Good morning. Well, we are still basking in the glow of the election, um, keeping tabs on the news. For me, it's the first time in a long time that I have felt comfortable keeping tabs on the news. But at any rate, even though the election is behind us, we have much work to do, and we need to continue to fight the good fight. And that's true in the garden as well. And today I wanted to show you how I am continuing to fight the good fight despite the success of my beautiful fall planting. So as you can see, my pansies are doing so well. I'm watering them right now. We have a um, watering system here. And they seem very happy amongst the decorations. And despite some low temperatures, which I'll talk to you about, they're doing well. Uh, as are my petunias, which I feel really, really pleased about. But um, pansies actually uh, are often prey to snails. And I wanted to show you, some of my readers have talked to me about that. This is what I use for snails. Uh, for my pansies. So I'm going to do an application this week and hopefully that will take care of keeping my pansies thriving and bug free. Now, a second fight that I have continued to be uh, working on is the pumpkin display. <laughs> so I've been fighting the squirrels, as you know. So this display used to be much larger, but the squirrels have eaten many of the pumpkins. And if you look closely, you can see that the pumpkin in the far left-hand corner there is uh, getting chewed on. So that will soon be gone because the, the um, squirrel will have taken care of that. But if you also look closely, what do you notice? I'm going to get up closer here. Can you notice anything? <laughs> Look at on this green one. Oh, they're fake. <laughs> I told you I was going to go get some fake pumpkins. So we were on our way uh, home from the mountains. No, up to the mountains. We stopped at Target. They had a 70% off sale for um, fall gourds. So we probably bought all of, all of these gourds for like a dollar. And I'm pretty happy with that because the squirrels aren't gonna bother them. But I'm gonna show you a video, which you will not, uh, not a video, a still photo, which you will not believe of a squirrel that dragged a pumpkin all the way across our driveway over this way, all the way onto our driveway, and was chewing on it very happily as we, um, as we moved, drove into the driveway from an excursion. So, honestly, they're just impossible. So, snail bait and fake pumpkins. Those are two ways that I am attempting to fight the good fight. Now let's go to the backyard and I'll tell you about three other things that I'm doing. My fall veg garden is looking pretty good. Let me give you just a brief tour here. The Badavan lettuce looks good. I think the beets are looking okay there in the middle. The carrots growing tall. There's more beets over here. Then over here we have the uh, um, broccoli and cauliflower. These two rows are cauliflower. And then over here we have um, the onions and then I have some Brussels sprouts, little Brussels sprouts here and here, which I'm worried are not going to have enough room. At any rate, um, Everything is looking pretty good. I actually want, I don't want to say I won the war, but I won the battle with the cabbage worms. I came out every day uh, for two weeks and hand picked them off and then sprayed them with BT uh, once a week for three to four weeks. And in between 
also sprayed them with um, an organic vegetable insecticide. So um, they're looking better, but here's the way, here's the thing that I'm doing now. Can you see that I have put netting all the way around? Because two days ago I came out here and there was a squirrel inside the garden that jumped out and started, you know, heading towards the pool. And I thought, I am not having that. After all this hard work, I am not having that squirrel come in and eat all of my garden. So I put um, netting over everything. So I have netting over the lettuce, the carrots. Now I am a little bit worried about how tall things need to get. I mean, I read that the broccoli might get, you know, two feet. Well, it's not two feet yet, and so I might need to provide more height underneath the netting. But, um, so that's another way that I'm fighting the fight. And then over here, I'll show you. Now, I don't want any of my East Coast readers to laugh, but in the last two days, it, uh, the temperature has gotten down to about 36 degrees at night. And I've been very worried that things might freeze. I know it's not 32, but it was pretty cold and I was concerned. So let me show you what I've done. So for the last two nights, I've put a little blankie over the veg garden. I know I'm being overprotective. You should feel sorry for my daughters <laughs> because I was overprotective with them too. But, um, you know it got pretty cold and who knows it said that it was going to be 36 degrees but maybe it could have gotten a little bit lower and I just didn't want all of this hard work to go to waste so they've been under a blanket for the last two nights but only in the night of course in the morning I take it off and then they get whatever Sun there is the day and I actually put the pansies in the front yard also under a blanket and we take that off very early in the morning because we don't want the neighborhood <laughs> to see how crazy I am. But they've done well and they have survived, although pansies do like cool weather. Okay, so then there's one more technique that I'm using to fight the good fight. Let me show you. So this area here that you can see just in front of the artichoke and the firecracker plant and the little ollie here, I planted with a drift of alliums and daffodils. And the alliums are actually right here behind the um, screen and the daffodils are in front. The alliums will be taller and the daffodils will be shorter. So it should be quite lovely if they bloom. I have more daffodils that I'm going to plant. But guess who likes daffodil bulbs? Mm -hmm. The squirrels. So I did not want the same thing to happen to my daffodils as has happened with my pumpkins. So I went out and I got some sturdy uh, screen. This is not like the vegetable screen. This is really tough metal screening. And I put it down over the bulb planting. And then I did another little drift over here. And I put it down over the bulb planting and also in the front yard. I have some beautiful bulbs that I planted in the front yard. So, as I said, there's lots to be grateful for in the garden during the fall. You can even see here this crazy tomato plant that has decided to just now fruit and bloom like nobody's business. But you have to be aware, you've got to keep fighting. So, that's what I'm doing. I am continuing to persist in the garden.